channel I'm Jessica and today I have my finale for the A to Z project pan this is a fantastic ladies collab and if you hear craziness that's my kids they're playing um, that's what happens when I have to film when they're awake <laughs> they just make a lot of noise you'll hear them a lot lately because they're in rare form anyway finale A to Z project pan <laughs> Um, we had to pick a product for every letter of the alphabet. That is 26 products, and it was a year-long project with the Fantastic Ladies. I'm going to have every single one of those ladies that had joined in for 2018 listed down below in my description box, so go check them out if you get the chance. And um, I didn't finish everything. I didn't think I was going to, though. I, I really knew in the last few months that I, there was no way I could have finished everything, but I have finished six more products and I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to show you what I have finished and then I will show you what I have not finished. Starting with the letter F for the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Buff. This is that one and I have finished it. I ended up having to do a Franken on this one, but it is done and I'm very happy that it is done. So, one more foundation out of my collection. Um, for H, I have the Hannah More Number no. 3 Perfume. I am very sad to see this go. The, there is like the tiniest little bit here, but the straw thingy won't reach it and I can't get it out. I've tried and tried and tried and it just won't come out. Um, let's see, for J, I'm so happy this is done. I actually finished it this month. Um, I, I can't believe it. It's the Julep Cushion Complexion Concealer in 140 Buff. This is so done. It took me months, probably two and a half months after it was out of this window here. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is actually pushed up into this area. That's how much product passed what you can see. It lasted forever. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would love to try this again in a more brightening color, but I'm not replacing it because I have other concealers that I want to use. There's also others that I want to try that people have recommended. So I am going to make a note that I do want to repurchase that in the future, but it's not on my radar anytime soon. All right, moving on to the next one is for the letter T, and that is for the Elf Long Lustrous Long long lasting, long lasting lustrous eyeshadow. That is a tongue twister in the color toast. Um, yeah, I finished this one. I didn't think it was going to happen. It was starting to get really dry towards the end, but I used it all. What you see on the sides is stuck. It is not coming out. And, um, I I'm going to miss this one. I really am. I might consider purchasing this in the future, but I, I don't need to right now because I have plenty of gold eyeshadow, plenty. So, you know, we'll hold off on that one. Moving on to the letter X, Zion Vista's Pearl Mica. I had it in here. You can actually see the name there. It is actually with an X. And um, I had it pressed into this pan. And I just finished this up today. It is, once my camera adjusts the color in focus, it is what I have on my eyelids today. And I have it over a, um, like a teal metallic base. And I really enjoyed this one. I'll show you the little container that I had it in. It is completely done. And I do have a backup of this, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, let's move on to the last one for why I chose the NYC white eyeliner. And this is what it looks like. That is all that is left. If I can open it up, it's kind of stuck in that cap. I can't sharpen it anymore. And even if I could, you can actually see the wax in that pencil. It, it was kind of weird. And I think it's because it was, this had dried up some. 
um, I was using it and using it and then um, when I needed to sharpen it I sharpened it and there was like the tiniest little nub came out it, it couldn't have been you know like smaller than a grain of rice like the width of a grain of rice and then I that popped out and then I sharpened and there was nothing else in there and I just kept sharpening and there was nothing in there until I got to the wax so yeah I, I'm I'm sad that the white is gone, but it wasn't working the way I needed it to. It wasn't soft enough. I would repurchase another white eye pencil, but not this particular one. So look, be on the lookout for a replacement for a white eyeliner for me. One that will actually work the way it's supposed to, hopefully. All right, that is everything that I finished. Um, like I said, I um, finished six this time, and I have five that I have not finished and I'm going to show them to you. The first one is for the letter B. It is from the Sephora Colorista palette and it is a bronzer. My goal was to finish it and I just hit pan on this today. So not super impressive but I did finish another full bronzer for the year so there is that. For C I have the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer looks like that. I was unable to finish it and I am just barely below where I was last time, which is that red line. So yeah, the julep really put a crimp in that one. The next one is for L, if I can say this again, the Elf Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the color Soiree. Looks like this and I will show you what I've got left. Just that little bit. It is starting to get drier and harder to use, but I can still use it. And um, yeah, I enjoy this one. I probably wouldn't repurchase this particular color because I tend to like brighter and it's kind of like a mid-tone. And if I was gonna buy something, I would want something a little bit brighter than that. All right, moving on to S for Sephora. This is also from the Colorista palette. This is a blush from that palette. My intention was to finish it. I do have some nice pan on there, but as you can see, it's not finished. So, yep, didn't get that last one there. And the very last one for the letter Z, I kind of knew with all the rain that we've been having, this was not going to happen. This is the Beyond the Zone flat iron. It's like t turn up the heat flat iron spray. I was at this line right here last time, and now I'm down here at the red. And um, I do enjoy this, but this is another one of those products that I'm going to have to get out of my collection because of the silicone in it. Um, I believe I put a video up already. Actually, I don't know when it's going up. I don't know if it's going to be before or after this one. If it's already up, I will link it up in the cards about all of the hair products, my search for my Holy Grail hair products and other products. It's, I, I don't know when it's going up, but... Um, yeah, I'm trying to get out all of those products. So if the video's up, you can watch it. If not, it'll be up very, very soon. All right, whew, long story short. The bottom line is I finished 21 of 26 products. I feel okay with this. Uh, it was a lot of products. I did a lot of projects this year and that I only didn't finish five out of 26. I can live with that. How much did I finish? It was $497.53 worth. So that's pretty good. So 21 products and a lot of money out of my inventory. And I like that. I like it a lot. So what's going on for next year with the Fantastic Ladies and this project? It is coming back. It is coming back. Beauty A to Z. It can be any product that is beauty related A to Z. Fantastic Ladies, if you want to be a part of them, their link is all the way down in my social media, so just click on that. There are three questions just to make sure you know what you're getting into because it is a collab group only. It's not your your everyday kind of painting group where we just talk about anything and everything. It is legitimately a collab group. So just answer the three questions. We'd be happy to have you join us. And, you know, there's a lot of amazing ladies in there. So, And we actually have... We have a guy in our group too, and he is so sweet. He really is. So come check us out if you are interested. All of the amazing ladies that have joined into this project for 2018 are going to be listed in my description box if you want to go check them out and show them some love. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.